Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, this is Ravi Brother, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to create a query report in data visualization. Okay, let's see today's agenda. Agenda is to create a query report in data visualization. Okay, so let's log into ILM UI and uh, go to data visualization page. You can log in with user credentials. Once you log in, go to data visualization, click on reports and dashboards. So uh, on this page, you will be able to see all the uh, connections and the uh, reports are created uh, now which are belong to the uh, connection. So to create a new report, you need to go to actions and new and click on report. Here you could see all the connection target connections you have created. So select the appropriate connection for which you want to create a report. And for creating the report, there are two types, table and uh, SQL query report. In this video, we'll cover how to create a SQL query report, okay? So select the uh, SQL query report and uh, click on next. So here you would need to enter the uh, query name. This should be unique for each query. So I'll just uh, enter info underscore test underscore query report one okay so here you need to write a query uh, uh, for the tables you want to create the uh, report so i'll write uh, a simple query select a star from dot t1 <coughs> so here uh, this is the query uh, select star from r brother c dot t1 so this query will get all the uh, columns and all the records from the table T1 which is present in R Brothers C schema from data vault. So if you want any specific uh, columns to be displayed then uh, just specify the columns in the select class and if you want to filter on any uh, condition you can put a where class and uh, put the condition. Okay. So once you write the query click on validate to uh, validate the query whether it is proper or not. So once it, the query is correct click on OK and click on next to go to the next page so the next page is to select the uh, layout select the informatic layout and you can sell you can give the uh, report title whatever you want to see the uh, report title as so i'll uh, write it as query report i'll just type test query report test then once it's done click on next and here you need to select the component. So select the table component to see the uh, report in tabular format. Okay. Click on next. Here you need to uh, list which all uh, columns you want to see on the uh, report. So I'll just select all the columns. And you can give the uh, name which you want, uh, appropriate name if you want to change the display name in the label section. <coughs> then click on next. Select the uh, uh, style, I'll just go for natural, then save it. So, query report test one. Okay, then uh, save it. Once it is saved, you can run it either run it or uh, go to the data violation page so this query is uh, saved you can run it uh, whenever you want so i'll just show it to uh, how to run here so click on run so the report will uh, another window will open uh, which will show the uh, query result so here you can see the report title is query report test whatever you have given and these are the columns present in the table and the data so close this window okay so uh, just refresh the data visualization page here you would see that uh, report created so this is the report which we have just created query underscore report underscore test one dot ws so but to run this uh, just select the report and go to actions and click on run report so uh, this report can be run anytime so since it is saved okay so the title we can see here query report test and this is the data in the table 
So we have just uh, seen a demo on how to create a query report in data visualization page. So this is it from this video. We would love to hear from you. Uh, you can provide us the feedback um, using below and the links. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.